Gente, muito boa noite, começando mais um no vídeo no Blade 3 apresentar por mim, Tropical Angel. Peço de já que você deixa o um like, aperte o botão de inscrição para mais detonado, mano. Bom, aqui na colônia 30, vamos pra cá. essa informação aqui This is some story. Agora vamos botar aqui o mapa e continuar o jogo Vou ver só uma observação aqui, gente. Porque eu tenho anotações sobre o jogo. Everyone, a por elas. Let's keep things on a tight loop. É que é jogando pela primeira vez, gente. Aí eu me guio pelas anotações que eu tive da internet.
I've been craving some downtime. It's <sighs> gonna start here. Ah, there you are. I don't want to either, but aren't you on tent duty today? Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. I'll head back and... What? It's all finished. Huh? We already packed it all up. <sighs> then what was the point of telling me? Don't you have better things to do? Hey, you owe us one. <sighs> I'm just joking. Are you okay? What do you mean, okay? These last <coughs> few days, it's been a lot, right? That's why you're concerned? Yeah, you got it. We were worried. Your problems are our problems. Just because someone says they're doing okay, doesn't mean everything actually is fine with them. You know, there's a word for people <coughs> like you. Hmm? Busy bodies, all of you. Now, Tyrant, that is completely uncalled for. <laughs> huh? huh? You two really must be bored stiff. Good grief. Everyone needs to let off steam. Is my life that entertaining to you? <laughs> I'll allow it. Hey, that watch. Our lifetimes run for ten years only. But this pocket watch has already lived for longer than that by being passed from Nimue's hands to mine. What Guernica said to us on that battlefield. I don't know what you made of it exactly, but frankly, to me, it was a load of nonsense. Not even enough to push us together. Hmm. But that's changed. If Nimue's life is represented by her dreams, then in remembering those, I carry her life with me. Perhaps now, I can give a purpose to my life. She'd live on if I were to pass her dreams on to others, right? Heavy. Also, I've done some thinking. If I had just, say, ten more years, no, even five, with just a bit of borrowed time, how many more memories could I fit inside this little pocket watch? And that's why you're here now? That's half of it. What's the other half, then? Oh, uh, well... In fact, just forget it. Oh, come on! You've already told us that much. You might as well give us the whole story. Th this is just not the place or time for it. That's all. Lame. Still, it was a nice chat. <laughs> Dreams in objects. Huh? <laughs> what? Huh? Thanks, Tyon. We came here to cheer you up a bit and got food for thought instead. Oh, sure. Any time. Neo. Um mapa aqui no meu computador que tá observando ele. I'll be more than happy to carry you. Thank you. 
Nothing even a teamwork couldn't handle. Whatever happened to not being careless? This looks handy dandy. Aqui. É o mapa que é bem grande, viu? Eu tenho um mapa aqui no meu computador também. Is that? That's Keves Castle, all right. First time seeing it. Yeah. Same level of elaborate as Castle of Agnes. Can also see Great Sword on left. Are we going through with this? No. I see it's far too risky now. The area will be under strict guard. But down slope, we could go via the forest. Mac to Wildwood, huh? Doesn't sound too bad to me. Never been this far in before. Me neither. The last time I had an audience with the Queen, she had come in person to the war front. Commander Ethel, Faunus Forward, Army's Colony 4. Reporting in as ordered, Your Majesty. It has been some time, hasn't it? Ma'am, I'm elated to find you in good stead, Your Majesty. That you would grace us with your presence is an honor above my station. We can dispense with the stiff preambles, Ethel. N. Ma'am. N. 
Consul N. That's him. N. The head honcho of Kavesi Consuls himself. The Golden Consul. What is that? The Annihilator. The latest weapon in our military arsenal. It utilizes breakthroughs in application of the Annihilation Effect. You've harnessed it. Not only is its power without equal, it has another exquisite benefit. Let me show you. What? You mean, right here and now? Indeed. This will be its finest hour. The Orion Mountains. A terrible shame. Her Majesty has a soft spot for them. Please do not think ill of me. What? What? What was that? Just thunder, innit? Brighter than any lightning I've ever seen. Still ringing in ears. Where did the light come from? No idea. But this can't be good. What incredible power! Its effective range has no discernible limit whatsoever. What are you...? I'm saying an attack like the one you just witnessed can be delivered anywhere. So you mean to use this weapon against Agnes? Uh, if you're to use this, then what about the clocks? Who said anything about using it on Agnes? Mom? The next target will be this. Puchis, grela, velma. Carregando. Is this? Oh. Should be reaching Mac the Wildwood soon. I hear it's tough going inside. We'd best be on the lookout. Watch the moss, guys. Mind you don't slip. Whoa. Yeah! <laughs> he says, falling flat on his ass himself. Oh, yeah. Bloody hilarious. You're always taking the mick out of me. Noah. Huh? Did you say something? Oh, for... Don't come crying if you fall. You seem like you're a million miles away. Lot on your mind? Yeah. Kinda. Of. 
Uh, Mio! Ah, uh, thank you. Are you okay? Yeah, I just lost my footing for a second. I I'm okay. For now, I'm okay. For now? Are you... not feeling a hundred percent? Huh? Nah, nothing like that. I'm totally fine, promise. Like I said, I just miss my footing. Hmm. If you start feeling worse, just say. I don't want you hiding it. Mm. You're a kind man, aren't you? I, I, I'm just being polite. Whoa! <laughs> oh. What was on your mind, earlier? Yeah, that light. I was wondering if it had anything to do with us. You think maybe... Could it have been something that Mobius did? Huh? We know that they're hunting us. Mm. Tyon, you told us before... ...that our consoles were actually the same. Yeah. I did say that. After that, nobody said so, but we were all thinking it. The war between Agnes and Keves, and the consuls. Or rather, Mobius. They must be connected somehow. It could be that all the fighting, it might be that it's all orchestrated according to Mobius. And to them, Ouroboros. Only spell trouble. Since we keep wrecking their flame clocks and all. They must really hate us messing with their stuff, I guess. So we're one big thorn in their side. Hmm. It does stand to reason that's why we're their targets. But it doesn't tell us anything about why our colonies fight. Any theories? Not as yet. But I figure... Isn't discovering that our real objective here, right? If we seek out the city, maybe we'll find answers. One way to know. Hey, can we take five? Well, for again. Oh, a container. Topographical info update. Man, those Mobius mooks, they make my feathers stand on end. Ending people's lives like it doesn't matter. Oh, what a sick joke. Their word for people like that? Know what Nopon say? No idea. Tell us. Super villain pon. Riku, what does that mean then? It be the extreme bad guy. Ah, I think I get it. Mama? What's up, Manana? Ben, are Noah and Mio and friends, supervillain Pond? You're labeling us? Labeling? Because friends used to end lives also. <sighs> that not make them supervillain Pond? I mean, 
It's not like we ever had a choice or anything. It was them or us. So we're no choice, not fall under definition then. None of us ever fought because we wanted to. It's just how it worked. How people worked. And the world. So, world is super villain pong. Huh? Since it make everyone do nasty things, world is bad guy. The world is bad. Huh, I never thought of it like that. Now that you mention it, what in the world are we even here for? I wouldn't strain your brain too much. Sounds like you have. What gave you that idea? Cut the snark, just tell me. The end point of it is suicide. So what? If you don't want to hurt others, you'll end up denying your own right to survive. Eventually, you come to the conclusion that the world may well be better off without your presence. The only resolution, then, is to erase the self. To die. See? Pointless. Isn't that taking it too far? The world doesn't just vanish because you've closed your eyes. What? The moon. Think about it. Why is it that the moon shines? Just because we're watching? Of course not. Even if humans were gone, it would shine on, illuminating the land beneath. And yet, we're the ones that give meaning to it. We say, bit dim tonight, or looks brighter than usual, eh? Similarly, we can now imbue the world with meaning or change it. It's a privilege we were lucky to obtain. And that's the power of Ouroboros. We're obliged to use it. We can make a difference. So we don't become supervillains. That's one thing to aim for, at least. Right? Obrigado por assistir, fiquem com Deus e até o próximo vídeo.